we start with one hour chart. We want to see how we can look for trade before I start the analysis. Just I want to highlight for those subscribers, they cannot get the notification from YouTube. We have a Telegram and Twitter. They can join there. I will share all the links there. And if there is any update, mostly I will share on YouTube, the Telegram. Um, besides, we have a playlist. The media can search for the update from there. And right now we start with one hour chart. As we can see the price, we get the sharp move, but we wanna see whether the price can break the previous top or not, okay? And in this case, we start with higher time frame first. If we move to daily chart, we, we wanna see whether the price can continue and break this top or not, because the question is, if the price cannot break, then we can look for this one as a flat correction for one more drop. That's why we want to see the breakout of this and continuation, all right? Anyway, we want to see how we can look for trade if we move to lower time frame and if we move to forward chart almost the price at the previous stop if we put our line here. Okay, right now if we want to look for trade buying is not really a good idea because we don't have any trade setup. The best thing is we wait and see the breakout of the stop. Then from there, if we see the conf continuation from there, we can look for buy. Buying right now is not really good. Because if we refer to the indicators, we have a divergence and as well make the. That's why there is a possibility that this one can turn to a flat. Okay, that means we can expect the price to give us one more drop, at least similar to what we have here. This is the possibility we're looking for. It doesn't mean the price cannot break and go. What I that this what I mentioned is, if we wants to look for buy, let the price break this one. Then above that, if we get any flag or correction based on lower time frame, we can look for continuation. Buying, as long as we haven't get the confirmation, since we have a divergence, is not really good idea. In case we get one more drop similar to what we have here. Okay, even if the price buy, if we want to look for trade, we need to get the trade set up. Exactly again, because of what we get is a divergence. In this case, we wanna see whether we can look for trade or not. If we move to one hour chart, we don't have any trade setup right now. The only thing is if the price continue, and as I explained based on forward chart with the breakout of this stop, which is 389, then if we see the continuation as a sharp move, any flag or correction, maybe we can consider for buy from there, right? And even if we refer to one hour chart, we see we have a divergence and as well here. That's why, we, that's why we see we have a divergence based on forward chart and one hour chart. That's why buying right now is not a really good idea. That's why we better we wait for the breakout. Then from there, we look for trade setup. Anyway, we don't have any trade setup and whoever get the trade win in this range, they should start to manage it. And again, we need to see the confirmation of the breakout. Then from there, we make a decision whether we should look for buy or sell. We have to wait for the correction, okay? Since we have a divergence anyway, we just we don't have any trade setup we just follow the chart if i see any update or trade setup i will share thank you